And then, and then I sang it over at karaoke at a, at a first birthday party with a little girl, one year old. And she was in the car with three days later, the little one year old and the oh, grandma, wow. both of them got here. Oh, look. So, and then I could go on tell you some more people that I don't know. That's one of the first couple. That's why I walked outside, so, <laughs> so it don't. That don't count, brother. <laughs> I hope not anyway. It seems like, it seems like God would want to he would save somebody on one or song like that, don't it? Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. think he would want somebody to save us up instead of taking somebody away? Oh, I hope. I hope. <laughs> but I, I think maybe you're telling me that. God, but let's, let's see it. Next week, I hope we'll go over here and say somebody will let them down. You know that song? Yeah, yeah. 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 About that. It is, ain't it? Yeah. I'm in 88. Wow. I love that song. Yeah. Well, you ain't gonna sing it now, do you? Really good. Some people, you know, uh, believe in uh, stuff, but you said that's true. You said that's true. Uh, do y'all believe in up the umbrella up in the house? Y'all think it's stuff like that? Uh, uh, I love my umbrella anywhere. I don't care where it's at. A lot of people are superstitious, like you said. They'll put a. They'll put a. A lot of people put horseshoes on top of their door because they like it. It's like a bird trying to come in the window. That's why they love too. Yeah. Uh, Especially for the Let me tell you the funniest thing that happened about a year ago in my studio. I got this old guy. He's a good old guy, but he's something wrong with him. He got in there and he got the preaching one night. No. Not Leo. He said, you don't mind he said, you don't mind if I preach a little bit. I said, no, he's preaching by himself. He just got to preach. No, pretty good, you know. Yeah. But this is a different guy. He walks the street and home to park all the time for overalls on. But I got him in my, I got him in my studio one night he, and he wanted to preach a little bit. I let him. All right. Then here come my mother-in-law and Larry come walking in. And when they left, he said, now I got to really play, pray. I said, well, boy, he said, well, there's, there's two demons. In, they, there's, they left two demons inside the place. And I ain't told my mother-in-law that yet. But she found out that she let him have it. When they left, he said, now I got to pray big time. I said, why you got to pray? He said, well, this, they left two demons in here. They left. You talking about the home park? Yeah. You know where, you know where that church of God is right there on the left? Uh, okay. I didn't think that boat cuts off right to the left there. But there's a big Baptist church uh, on the right, or I think it's back. It might be Baptist. Home of Park Baptist Church. Well, yeah, that's all I like that, though. Yeah, I know. And on the left, well, that is George Abbott Lake Road. Uh, George Abbott Lake, just before you get to George Abbott Lake, it's that church on the right before you get to it. It's like a. Yeah, that's Home of Park. There's a big church there and then a fellowship right beside it. Yeah, that's why I'm in Park Bat. I've gone home from the show back about 20 years ago. And this, I swear this is the truth. Standing in the middle of the road with somebody seven foot tall, a big old white, white gown, like a, a biblical gown with a big staff like that, with a real long hair, standing in the road. You think so? I mean, that's a true yeah. story. I believe it. And if somebody arrived with me, it seemed to do, so I know it wasn't just me. Uh, but I believe it was Moses. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But when I say Moses, I, I, I want to talk, I want, I want talk to his daddy big time. Noah, you know, uh, hey, seriously, God said build you a ship and put it on top of a mountain. And take two animals, female and two. I, I told you why I was a mosquito scum. I know. But why in the world is the... Uh, is, uh, no, I want to bring snakes and alligators over here. And mosquitoes. And mosquitoes, ghost bugs, slugs, snails. What do you want to bring him over here? Uh, uh, my now, Mike, can you answer that? He don't hear me. Uh, you can't hear me. Uh, Mike knows the Bible pretty good. An alligator and a snake, he gets bugs, he gets shoes. He gets shoes from the alligator. And the mosquitoes are to have any diseases that's going to plague the world. 
Oh, you yeah, haven't ever thought about this. So the mosquitoes go put it. So that's it then. That's the revelation. They already do it. He brought a bunch of them, didn't he? How big was it? You know how big it was? Had to be pretty big to put all the mountains on it. Hell, I mean, that sounds like a Bible. Yeah, he knows the Bible pretty good, my figure. They were like 300, about 400 foot long, right? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. And all the animals were down below. Mm. All the animals were put down below. Yeah. What do you say you want to bring a crocodile over here? Oh, my Lord. Hey, had a crocodile back there. <laughs> How'd they get here? Well, I think these were just animals that, that we made a living with them, like yeah. cows, sheep, chickens, stuff like that. I'm waiting for Mike to get it started. There we go. It says, Two of every kind so we can make three of every animal? Yes, sir. Male and female. Male and female. Male and female. Well, that's what it's sort of now. I have to about male and female. But uh, there was Noah, his wife, and Moses the only living people after God flooded the world, right? Uh, <laughs> So they was on the boat, they was on the boat. Well, okay. So we really come from uh, Moses and them, too, then, instead of uh, Adam and Eve, then, then we come from Moses. They are uh, great. Well, Adam and Eve died. Well, no, they, they were first. Adam, Noah was a descendant of Adam and Eve. Right. And sometime another, along the chain. It's amazing, it's amazing, Basically, everybody's to Adam and Eve along the chain somewhere along the way. I'm getting there. No, I'm getting there. That's the way. Sometimes, by the way people walk these things in, you would think there was Adam and Steve. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you go back far enough and we're all really here. That's what I'm saying. You go back far enough, we're all really here. And you're right. Yeah, you're right. Arkansas. They just take two animals and they're going to be about more two. They know about Adam and Eve. No, I was talking about They took uh, one of each, female and male. I know that. I know that. They were going to get paid. A lot of people don't know that they never. We have a Monday school area. That's one of my life. Yeah, we have a Monday school. But you know, Noah's Ark, they don't know where they're at. What's up there? Hot Mountain Ark. Hot Mountain Ark. Hot Mountain Ark. Hot Mountain Ark. Yeah. Hey, I was watching some videos of not this guy. I found him on the YouTube. For 25 or 30 years, he goes everywhere he can to Elvis has ever put his foot down. He's got pictures of him at car lots, buying cars, you know, places. He'll take those photographs and go to these places and pull it up, the old buildings, and he'll stand right in the same spot that Elvis has stood in. You gotta see those videos. This, this guy on, uh, it's on YouTube, uh, he's probably got 50 videos of him wherever Elvis has been. Hey, uh, folks, I don't know. That's Jimmy Joe behind you. Can't see him. Hey, go ahead. They can hear you, though. Go ahead. I know. Oh, uh, let them see you. Oh, you're talking about on this. I got my camera. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The other, oh, wait. This is on Facebook. Yeah, I can hear you. Right? I mean, there's a lot of things on Facebook that ain't true and all. But this was like when you go into it, like read a news story, and the FBI reported, FBI put Elvis Presley in witness protection program. 
back when he died, back just before he died. All right, because he didn't want to have all the fame and fortune all that anymore. And nobody ever thought. Gave him a different name, different social security number, everything. All right. Well, this man, homeless man, died out in California. They couldn't find out who it was. So they run a DNA test on it, and it come up the DNA. It come up a match. The uh -huh. match was Elvis Presley. Was it the, the guy living in? Yes. He died yeah. in California. They showed a picture of him, and he oh. looked like Elvis. So Elvis, I don't know. Did you see his name? Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But they, but they said that the whole story, like you talking about, the yeah. witness protection. Witness program. protection program. That was on there like a year ago or something. Yeah, something yeah. like a year ago. But about four years ago, somebody out in California started singing these Elvis songs in a, in a karaoke venue. Oh. Yeah. And they said it sounded just like Elvis. Mm -hmm. And it was a homeless man they were talking about. Could it be true? Good they thing. Do a voice match. You never know. Yeah. They do a voice match. Well, supposedly they done a voice match on somebody recording something right after Elvis died, and it was a voice match of him. <laughs> Well, you know, they say that's why he, they spelled his name wrong. That's right. His name is not spelled correctly. Now, how would they, how would, so how would they mess that up? It's done on purpose. What do you know? I believe in stuff like that. So. I don't know. Abraham, hey, Abraham Lincoln once said, you can't believe a thing you hear on the internet. That's what he just said. I, I agree with him. But I, I, I thought DNA never was wrong. Huh? Yeah. Oh, but, but, hey, that's, that's people that believe that he was still living, yeah. But, you know, J.D. Sumner, the Stamps Quartet, he was on Ralph Freeman's show one night. He went straight in the camera. He said, Elvis is dead. And I would lie to you. I did his hair in the casket. They said, what He said, Elvis is dead. He said, because I did his hair. He met, picked his hair while he was laying in the casket. I mean, I've seen that with my own eyes. J.D. Sumner, I don't think he lied to the very people. He said that. Well, I agree with you. I always thought that too. But like Gene said, they did spell his name wrong on his death certificate and on the tombstone. What about they did that? That's straight there. And none of his insurance money was ever paid. Oh, really? No. Uh, who in here is going to be cremated? Raise your hand. I thought about it. Well, it's going to be cremated. I was thinking about it. I worked too hard to keep out of that. Hello. 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 I said, well, now what you gonna do with my ashes? She said, I'm gonna burn them too, if you don't mind. <laughs> Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Don't make sure. She's gonna burn my ashes. She said that. Huh? I don't believe she said that. Yeah, yeah, she did. She said, I'm gonna have you cremated. I'm gonna determine you're gonna get hot one time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gonna have a cold body. That's not that one. But I always want smoking hot butter. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, my daddy always, always, my daddy always used to say, "Boy, when you die, man," he said, uh, "I'm gonna make sure I put a fire extinguisher in your casket. <laughs> Turn your body down like that when you see when you go." Face down. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. What kind of thing were you buried above ground? Is a mausoleum? Mausoleum, yeah. That's what I really want to be buried in. I really want to be down on the ground. Yeah, but, but you ain't gonna know it. They ain't gonna know it. You ain't gonna know it. How do you know if you don't go? Well, right then you won't. You, you, from what the Bible says, is your spirit, it, it don't die, it goes back in the heart of Jesus. I mean, God. That's where it goes. You know, that's what the Bible says. It goes back into Him. Come from Him. Come from God. And, uh, I, I always believe He puts you here for a test for, for the heaven, the next life. You see how you do here? What's your saying? See how you do here?
how you do here on this earth for, for the health of you. But you know, Mormons, but you know, the Mormons, I used to didn't uh, believe much in the Mormons, what they had to say. But as I got older and the internet came out, I believe in them. I really do, because they can back up everything they say with the scripture. They, they might, yeah, oh, no, God, no, oh, I promise you this. I know, see, but everything they say, what they say, you don't believe it. But then they put the scripture below it, then you go read it. But it's their Bible, it's not the Holy Bible. Yeah, and King James Version. Well, you must be looking at the wrong internet when I'm looking at it. Hey, I'm serious. I mean, I checked it out. They were saying stuff like, I didn't know that Jesus had any brothers. I learned it through them. I did not know Jesus had five brothers. Like that right now, watching this, uh, they watching this. Uh, they watching this. Uh, go to uh, you people watch this. Go to Google or YouTube and put punch in Jesus has five brothers and you'll see the scripture. Man. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. I learned it through the uh, Mormons. Yeah, he did true. Jane, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The owner, uh, when I went to work down at WRX Radio, I worked there two years, and the owner of the station, Matt Phillips, he said, I'm going to give you two good advices. He said, when you're on the air and you're doing your show live, do not get into politics or religion. And I messed up when I got on. Listen, you're not going to that politics on your show. Yeah, I know. Well, we have to get on the show. My mama was always calling you. Oh, yeah. Your, your mama knew. I wish well, she had her own radio show because she, she knew what she was talking about. She knew a lot of stuff, but she, she, she didn't know a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, she knew, though. Uh, uh, she, uh, if I messed up, she would call me and she'd correct me. She said, no, we'll go here. I'll be there. And I get the Bible. Tell her what your mama told you. I can't even stung so much. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she told me this. She told me that out there. She told me all. I don't know why she told me this. Uh, his mother, right before she died, she said, uh, she said, I hope you don't think nothing wrong with this. So I love Jimmy to death. She said, but if you're ever around where he's at, no matter where it's at, club up anywhere, watch after him and take care of him. Well, heck, it should be the other way around. He needs to watch out for me. He's bigger than I am. But I told him I would. So if anybody jumps on you, I'm going to try to pull them off. I'll probably get killed doing it. You don't know how to get the hell, baby. She did. I'm going to run. Yeah, she did. Uh, well, see, my mama did the same thing to me one time in front of my cousin, Pop Poo. I don't know if y'all remember Pop Poo. She said, look at Pop. She said, Jim, she said, Pop, when you around any places where Jimmy's playing, watch out for him. I don't know if she meant if I can't fight or take care of myself or not, but she told my cousin to like, watch after me. But I'm watching after you. What you know about 911? Huh? What you know about 911? Jerry said that. Jerry said that. Jerry said that. You leave Jerry at home. Don't leave him here. Yeah. Yeah. Called the fire department. He said, I don't know the number for 911. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. He didn't know the number for 911. I called on the fire department down here building it. Just here, I got called in, said the barn was on fire. And I said, okay, how do I get there? He think you got one of them red car trucks? I said, yeah, he's going to come in at this. <laughs> 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 I was serious about it. He said he didn't know the number. Run up on some number. What's that movie with, uh, I played a crazy guy. What you want for it? Taylor. What was the name of that movie? Oh, well, Billy. That was the guy that did the fire. He said, no fire. He played a crazy guy. What's that movie? Oh, Snake Money. 
they were slave on the lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, they were slave Yeah, there was these two guys working on a lawnmower. And he come out there and they said, we can't get it started. He took the gas top off of the, you got the gas. So people just, they just don't think they Put some gas and it comes right up I Except when he does blue rings. Like you and Mike are announcing that you're here live tonight. Oh, that, 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 that wrote down on Jerry's face. Yeah, yeah, they were talking about the band didn't know what they were doing. They were going overnight. They were going overnight and all that. Well, he needs to come to one of them shows up there at Wild Wings or someplace like that with two or three hundred people. And I'll let you sing if they can do any better, asshole. <laughs> I got it. You remember that guy's name that did that? What was his name, Buck? I don't know. And the change in there. Do you hear what they said about some guy said that? Uh, we wouldn't do a good job in here or something like that. I heard about it tonight. Jimmy. Bill Perkins. Bill Perkins. Bill Perkins. Uh, and he, he's, he made a statement as what now? Y'all didn't know what y'all was doing. Was well, he don't either. Nice. Tell him to come on down here and he'll find out. Uh, I, we'll say Rudy over here. <laughs> Rudy will give a front end of my mind. I'll tell him about something I seen on CNN. Uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> You'll probably get him five times. Hey, Jimmy, y'all been telling y'all with his parents and whatnot, you know, yesterday I went over to the uh, they at the emergency uh, room in Anderson, and uh, the day this young lady said, Jerry, what have you been doing? I said, you look off a car. And I said, well, I ain't really been doing nothing. Why you sound tired? She said, well, you've been running around in my head all day. <laughs> But uh, that depends on how she looks. <laughs> I mean, my, my opinion. Well, if you didn't look, look too good, because on uh, Saturday night, I'll tell you how to make it all leave. We got in the front, and keep sitting in the front. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Jimmy, thank you for the barbecue. Very good. Brush over. You leave again? Yeah. Yeah, all right, please. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy. I gotta come back here. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Thirteen minutes after eight. We're gonna be here what about nine, y'all? Nineteen? Rudy said so we might just hang around with Rudy and then let's stay here at one o'clock in the morning sometime, uh, Bill Joe. I'm not gonna stay that long with Rudy. We keep there every one day and leave the next. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it all. You can tell that hey, I'll keep you tell that hey, off. What do you know that they lost? Yeah, right. Yeah, they lost. 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 Yeah, they